A one-time top cop with a controversial past is back in the spotlight with a different department. This time for a strange arrest that left a woman with a broken arm. An arrest with very little paper trail left behind. News 13's Alex Goldsmith has that story. Everybody come over here. If you run off, I'll chase you down. A year ago, Officer Ed von Kutzelben was breaking up a loud party in Belen. Hey, you two stop! On his belt tape, you hear the officer call over Lisa Torres and her friend. What did I do wrong? Tell me! A scuffle breaks out. According to a federal lawsuit, Von Kutzelben tried to handcuff Torres before throwing her to the sidewalk, breaking her arm. What's Von Kutzelben's version? She attacked me when I was having contact with some other people. So she's going to jail tonight. After Torres slipped out of a handcuff, the lawsuit claims Von Kutzelben took her down again and dragged her by her broken arm. I have my arm. Get up! Wait, wait. Stand up now! Turn around. Turn around. Ow. Watch out with her arm. Ow. But despite the officer's claims that the woman attacked him, he never filed a report, and Torres was never charged with a crime. Belen's police chief declined comment on this particular case, but did tell me. When one of his officers uses force, a use of force report should be filed. Von Kutzelben has a controversial past. You step out of the car and just turn it off. As Mountaineer's police chief in 2009, Von Kutzelben fired shots at a driver fleeing a traffic stop. During the chase, that driver slammed into a car, killing a grandma and her grandson. Although some in the town wanted him fired, a state police report cleared him of wrongdoing. But the city did pay out a settlement to the family. Do you feel responsible for what happened in these fatalities? Absolutely not, sir. But Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. The lawsuit against von Kutzelben accuses him of excessive force, false arrest, and other civil rights violations. He is still on duty in Berlin.